Okay, this is how to build a chem buster. This is my first chem buster I've built. I have all the materials gathered here and I'm going to go through what you need to buy and get together in order to make one yourself because that's the reason I'm making this video is I want to promote other people to make these organite pieces, to make these chem busters because we're being assaulted. Uh, there's toxins, chemical aerosol sprays in the sky and they're affecting our health, they're affecting plant life, they are changing the weather, and we obviously have a big drought in California, and this is something that can combat all of that. Uh, so, a little history on Organite. You can go to Organite.info. That website is down right now for some reason, I don't know why, but you can Google Organite and the piezoelectric effect that Wilhelm Reich discovered in 1935, which is basically a way of purifying the energy around us. The energy around us, the invisible energy, is etheric energy or zero-point energy, dark matter, chi, light force energy. It's invisible. It's kind of like what Tesla discovered. Radiant free energy is all around us. And what we're doing is gonna, we're going to purify that energy because there's a lot of negative electromagnetic energy, etheric organ energy is what it's called. And we have a way of transmuting that with organite. And a chem buster is, is a large tool that we can use to bring rain to California and to transmute the negative etheric energy that's in these chemtrails and geoengineering toxic aerosol spray programs that we're seeing on a daily basis. Um, anyone can see that the sky and the clouds are not natural. And I've been struggling with something I can do about it for a couple years now. And I had a friend uh, who introduced Organite to me, and, um, and so as soon as I found out I can do something about it, I went and gathered all these materials. I would say I put in about $200, um, but I also had to buy uh, a saw. I didn't have a saw and I didn't have a drill. Actually, I had a drill, uh, but I had to buy a saw and, and, and some other materials. Um, so what we're going to do is go through all the materials that you can go purchase at Home Depot, at machine shops, uh, uh, paint stores, and you can gather these materials, you can make your own organite pieces, you can make your own chem busters, put them in your backyard, and they really do work, and um, I'm excited. So this is basically part one of how to build a chem buster, and now we're going to go through the materials.